This is the G Podcast Daily. Today is Wednesday, December 13th. It's Wisdom Wednesday, and this is the G Podcast Daily. Five minutes of news and knowledge to get you through your day. Let's get it. Start the clock. And on this day, in 1903, civil rights worker Ella Baker was born in Norfolk, Virginia. In 1913, boxer Archie Moore was born in Benoit, Mississippi. In 1944, the first black women completed officer training for WAVES. And in 1981, black comedian Dewey Pigmeat Markham died. Here's news from UNN with Alexander Caden. This is UNN, Urban Network News, national news and information for one of our people of color. I'm Alexander Caden. A city councilman in Atlanta, Georgia, has proposed a ban on ski masks and hoodies in an effort to reduce crime in the city. Philadelphia has done the same thing. The proposal is naturally raising eyebrows among activists and others in the black community of both cities. Senator Raphael Warnock is calling for prayers and forgiveness for the woman accused of attempting to set the birthplace of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on fire. The senator addressed the incident during his sermon on Sunday at Ebenezer Baptist Church, just blocks away from the home. A Russian man flew from Europe to Los Angeles without a passport, visa, or plane ticket last month, and officials have no idea how he did it. He interacted with flight crew, ate two meals on the plane, and spoke to other passengers on the flight. A trial is underway in Washington, D.C. that will determine how much Rudy Giuliani will have to pay two black Fulton County election workers who he falsely accused of fraud while pushing Donald Trump's claims after his 2020 election loss. Two days after losing her bid to be Houston's next mayor, longtime U.S. Representative Sheila Jackson Lee announced that she'll seek a 16th term in Congress in 2024. Jackson Lee first took office in 1995. Her district includes downtown Houston and some of the city's historically black neighborhoods, including the third and fifth wards. California Congresswoman Maxine Waters is prioritizing her constituents' financial needs by demanding banks open up more branches in her district in which the largest ethnic group of residents is black. The demand comes as research shows African Americans face considerable challenges in accessing bank services for a number of reasons, including proximity. The Massachusetts Attorney General has filed a lawsuit accusing a white nationalist group of civil rights violations, saying it repeatedly subjected LGBTQ plus events and facilities sheltering migrant families to intimidation and harassment. You've been listening to UNN. For more national news and information for and about people of color, visit our website at myunn.net. Episode 204, Police Behaving Badly, is out now at castropolis.net. Your G-Clip of the day. Kodak Black, good God, he back in jail too. Arrested for drug possession. After the cops found him asleep at the wheel of his Bentley, he tried to eat the evidence and say he was taking a pain pill, but he also is going to be in pain because he has violated his probation. Listen to This is the G Podcast and subscribe. All links at castropolis.net. It's Wisdom Wednesday. You're listening to the BJ Murphy Show. Uh, my grandma used to say, I ain't from no Africa. I'm from right here in Wayne County. <laughs> you know, and our, our grandparents, they never shared any information. Why Did your parents ever sit down with you and just tell you about the lineage of you know, this is your great grandmama and great 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 granddaddy. They was a slave, and they was in so and so and so. No, nobody ever does that to us. I think they just wanted <laughs> to forget school about. And it. Then your school tells you what those projects, and you have to do it. And it's just so much lost Black American history. It sure is, man. And now they want to take our DNA. What twenty three and me? I don't want to know. But, <laughs> I know. Hey, look, I'm, I'm telling you that twenty three and me. What they're doing now is that they're blocking. DNA, right? Mm-hmm. And so, like, if you just want to know about your history, then you can do that, right? But now they got a, you can put a lock on your DNA so other family members won't find out about you. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of paternity cases were being, uh, <laughs> you know, people was finding out that Leroy was, <laughs> Leroy is your daddy. 
the BJ Murphy Radio Show. Thanks for stopping by. This has been This is the G Podcast Daily. News and knowledge to get you through your Wisdom Wednesday, December 13th, 2023. Enjoy your day. You've been listening to This is the G Podcast. This is the G Podcast is a production of the Castropolis Podcast Network. Thanks for listening. 